My pick for 10th best movie of 2014 goes to Grand Budapest Hotel. Wes Anderson has once again crafted a wholly unique, vibrant, and exciting narrative oozing with personality. Three parallel stories are shared in three separate aspect ratios, but Ray Fiennes turns in a goofy and endearing performance that's impossible to look away from. A surprisingly good time, this is an obvious choice to begin my list. Grabbing the ninth spot is David Fincher's latest, Gone Girl. This is an unpredictable, sexy, and smart thriller that had me engrossed every step of the way, and Rosamund Pike gave one of my favorite performances of the year. A modern twist on the classic abduction thriller story, it also had a chilling score. It's fitting that the eighth slot goes to the eighth film in a franchise, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Excellent motion capture CGI set within a ruined future, made for some great action sequences and effective emotional moments too. This is the sort of layered and complex narrative the Apes series has been waiting for, and it totally delivered. I can't wait to see where they take the long-running series next. I had been anticipating my seventh pick for years, so when I finally saw The Fault in Our Stars, I was really overcome with emotion. My friend John Green wrote a beautiful story, and Shailene Woodley and Ansel Elgort provide fantastic performances that will make even the strongest of constitutions break down and cry. A real and faithful romance story worth seeing at least once. My sixth favorite of 2014 is The Lego Movie. Even to this day, I'm a ridiculously huge fan of the toys, and this fast-paced, cameo-filled, humor-laced action-adventure gave me everything I could have hoped for. The voice talents of Chris Pratt, Will Ferrell, and Will Arnett only sealed the deal. It's not only flashy and funny, but it shares a really touching message that adults and children alike can't appreciate. Number 5. Birdman, or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance. A masterful combination of believable dialogue, pitch-perfect acting, and one incredible camera move that lasts for the entire 119-minute picture. There are obviously edits hidden throughout, but the illusion of a single unbroken steady cam shot that effortlessly glides from one setup to the next is beautiful to watch unfold. Michael Keaton draws from personal experience with a nuanced performance as a washed-up movie star looking to find relevance again and I can only hope he'll receive some recognition from the Academy for his work here. Containing my favorite performance of the year, Nightcrawler comes in at number four. Jake Gyllenhaal is remarkable and frightening as a bottom-feeding opportunist who will do anything for a leg up in the world of late-night news journalism. The music, cinematography, and story are all top-notch, but it's the exciting climax that was perhaps the most thrilling sequence I saw all year. Top three territory now, Guardians of the Galaxy was perhaps the most fun I've had at the cinema in ages. A fast, hilarious, action-packed superhero film that gets every ingredient of its massive recipe correct. Chris Pratt is now a bona fide movie star, and from the opening moments of him dancing to Redbone to an explosive climax, it's impossible not to smile and enjoy yourself while watching this picture. It may have been deep or philosophical, but it was a fresh take on an old formula, and one I'll have no problem re-watching again and again. My runner-up for best film of the year goes to Edge of Tomorrow, a breath of fresh air in the bloated sci-fi action genre. Tom Cruise is at his best here. The visuals and action are absolutely incredible, but it's the dry wit and humor of the fast-paced narrative that makes it work so effortlessly. The repeating time loop concept made famous in Groundhog Day receives a big budget alien infested treatment here, and it totally works. I only wish more people had paid money to see it. Now for some honorable mentions. These are the pictures that I scored a 9 out of 10, but unfortunately didn't quite make my list. The musical drama Whiplash has astounding performances from Miles Teller and J.K. Simmons, and a fierce and emotional film that pulls you in from the start and never lets go. How to Train Your Dragon 2 was an excellent follow-up to one of my favorite original animated pictures of the last few years, while well, X-Men Days of Future Past found an intriguing way to combine the cast of yesteryear and today into a fun, action-packed thrill ride. Richard Linklater's Boyhood was a cinematic marvel, portraying the same group of characters over 12 years of their lives. And The Amazing Spider-Man 2 fixed most of the flaws of its unneeded predecessor with some high-stakes battles and complicated characters. And finally, my pick for the best movie of 2014 goes to Interstellar. No surprise here, Christopher Nolan's latest effort is also his most ambitious, a modern masterpiece of everything I appreciate about cinema. It had ideas, images, and sounds I had never even dreamed of before, packaged together in an intriguing sci-fi story about love, hope, and loss, anchored by spectacular Oscar-winning actors. The type of inspirational and moving experience that stays with you long after the credits roll, this is one picture that truly resonated and was my favorite of the entire year. 